Today is March 29th, 2024. This is Singlostic, host of the updates, bringing you your daily Weathering Waves update. First off, we finally have a release date, May 23rd. It's two months from now, and after that, this channel will basically close. We'll not, I don't think we'll be able to hit uh, day 500, but we'll be damn close. If, I, if only I started like two months earlier, you know. In the next news, we have some milestone rewards for the pre-registrations. We get uh, we get 20 polls if we reach uh, 30 million pre-registrations. Maybe that happens, maybe that don't, whatever. The, the neatest part is you can convert your lower rarity echoes into gold echoes, and you might be able to get more per roll, depending on how good your databank level is, depending on how high your databank level is. That is pretty cool. They also increased the drops from the stamina stuff, like the tacit fields. You can the XP items you get from spending stamina is definitely increased now. That's very good. That was a pretty big concern for mine. So hopefully it's like actually noticeable. And also the trailers were both really good. The first one in particular. It was sort of like two battles separated by time. Being displayed, being displayed back and forth because Yang Yang has her ability, her resonance that can sense like events of the past and shit. That was nice. And the second trailer teased the crownless and uh, and this a uh, new form. Maybe this is like a, a better, a, a, a complete version of the crownless. They also looked at most of the sound. They also touched up the story cutscenes and the sound effects, which I'm not gonna go over because those are already like objectively good. I don't have much thoughts on that. And that was the whole stream. 20 minutes flew by real quick. That has been your Wuthering Waves update.